Okay, here's my second video with waiting to the NFTs coming from the perspective of me, just an ignorant investor, um, kind of just going for a gamble, long shot, um, focusing sp specifically um, with the autograph NFTs uh, sold through DraftKings. So as you can see on my screen, all these different um, colors of NFTs. Um, these were the first ones that were released on DraftKings by Autograph. They had all these different athletes and different levels of the NFTs, um, depending on that athlete. And I'll just show you here with Derek Jeter, some of the, the cheaper ones. Um, at the bottom here, I guess. This is a lower level one out of 5,000 for 50. And how you got your hands on these right now, you can buy them from the uh, third party marketplace. It's still on DraftKings, but you won't be able to play, pay retail price. So they've already been scooped up and uh, selling for well over that. Um, all the athletes are different prices depending on popularity and whatnot. Um, so you may ask like what's the difference between all these? There's so many Derek Jeter ones at varying price points. I can't answer that in full. And I was pretty ignorant when buying them. But like I said, it was kind of just a gamble long shot. So I took a chance anyways and bought a few, but turns out, or what, what these, the value behind these are is if you own one, say like the Derek Jeter Premier, um, you get preferred access to any, what's in this case, Derek Jeter NFT drops in the future. I fear that it may be a little bit confusing or hard to follow, so if you just bear with me, let me show you an example. Maybe it'll make a little bit more sense. So I'm gonna scroll up from the marketplace and just go to my portfolio and show you. Okay, perfect example. Wayne Gretzky, here's my Emerald Premier I bought months ago. I believe one, I bought it for 195 from a third party. Um, now that's an NFT in itself, but there's not much value to it other than it looks cool and I wanted to buy it because it's the first uh, autograph NFTs being rolled out. First ones offered on DraftKings, so that was attractive to me. I bought it, but what it turns out, so the green emerald premier level, um, uh, let's say a week and a half, two weeks ago, Gretzky or DraftKings had... Uh, a new Wayne Gretzky NFT release to commemorate, I think like 25 of his um, achievements. Um, so if you owned one of these passes that I'm showing you, you got preferred access to the drop of the Wayne Gretzky NFTs I was just talking about. Depending on what color, which level you got and spent determines how many of those collectible NFTs, um, Wayne Gretzky specific, you're able to get. The more expensive, the more you're able to get. Um, on this specific drop, they didn't tell you which one you were gonna get, but if you bought what they call a mystery pack, you, um, you would open it up on a certain date and be be given the collectible. So like I said, um, if you go back to my portfolio, you can see I have all these different athletes, but let's focus on Gretzky because I had the green. So it's Emerald Premier. And there was an upcoming, remember upcoming Gretzky NFT drop, not these. If you go here, Emerald Premier, see? I was able to get two of the mystery containers on this drop and you're able to get more depending on what level you had. Um, 
So here we are. Again, I'll go back to my portfolio. I was able to buy two of these Gretzky mystery containers because of that. Um, now, if you're not a holder of one of those preseason passes, like the Emerald thing like that, you still have a chance to buy those mystery packs, but it, your chance to buy or your opportunity to buy doesn't come until a week after, or maybe not a week, but a certain amount of time after everyone who does hold the preseason access pass has a chance to buy.